Welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell. My name's Matthew Kidman and today I'm joined by Chad Slater from Morphic Asset Management and Nathan Bell from Peters McGregor. And we are going global and we're talking about disruptors. We didn't even know what the word meant 20 years ago, but it's everywhere now. Chad, I'll start with you. One of the big disruptors, got everyone's advertising dollar, Facebook, buy, hold or sell. It's a hold. Personally, I think it's a morally repugnant company. Uh, I don't like what they do and generally I think they could be the new tobacco. There's a tide turning against them. Legislation is going against them on top of that, you know, you saw the results this week, they're struggling. Okay, can the great disruptor be disrupted? Nathan, are they losing eyeballs? Uh, they're certainly not growing their Facebook numbers like they were before, uh, but where we think Facebook is going to tail off, we think Instagram is going to pick up. Uh, people are calling the World Cup, the recent Instagram World Cup, uh, and we think that's going to grow exponentially and, and uh, the pie will be much bigger for digital advertising. Okay, let's get to world domination, forget disruption. Amazon, Jeff Bezos, he wants to take on everything, buy, hold or sell. Yeah, I find it really hard to say a sell, but it's just purely on valuation. A third of the valuation, which is nearly $900 billion, is made up by its AWS cloud storage business. Uh, it's got amazing pricing power. Uh, for 100 million prime subscribers, it's just put the price up by 20 bucks a year. So that's around $2 billion, so extreme pricing power, but the valuation just too high. Chad, they've taken Amazon on with totally different valuation metrics to virtually any company in history. Buy, hold or sell? Oh, it's a sell for us. Um, Amazon is the world's most successful communist company. It's, uh, it's been run for many years, never made any money, and it's going to be trying to be the monopoly supplier. Um, I think, you know, you've got a President of the United States who said he wants to break them up. They've, uh, they're enforcing empowerment there. Uh, it's got no real valuation support for where it is. I think it's a sell. Okay, let's stick with the entrepreneurs. Let's get in the car. Tesla, buy, hold or sell? Oh, Tesla. <laughs> if there is a dollar for every, uh, every opinion on the short and the long side of this thing, I'm going to put it on a hold. Um, you know, Elon Musk, he's certifiable, uh, and that could be good or bad. Uh, but ultimately, they are changing the world. Um, the good thing about this business is you can have a go at valuing its market share. Um, theoretically difficult to hit, but possible. So I don't want to have a horse in that race. Okay. Hold. All right. Tesla, it's changing the world. Buy, hold or sell? Tesla is a sell for me. Uh, it seems to be very heavily geared. Uh, I don't think it's going to hit the numbers it's talking about with uh, delivering the number of cars. And someone once said to me that the best that Tesla can hope to be is an automotive company. So that's a sell for me. Okay, let's get out of America. You've got something elsewhere in the world that's a great disruptor that we might like to buy? Yeah, I'm sure our listeners would love to be investing in South America at the moment. Uh, a company called Despegar, it's the Expedia of South America. It's big in Brazil. The share price has gone from around $34 down to 20. Extreme volatility since it's been listed last September. It's on 30 times earnings, which sounds really expensive, but we think it's going to go very quickly over the next five to 10 years. Okay, Chad, you're going to take us somewhere else globally? Look, unfortunately, I don't have sexy Brazil uh, and online, but what I do have is J Japan and BRICS. Uh, so Tataru, it's, uh, it's a purple bricks equivalent enlisted in Japan. Uh, it's relatively expensive on a PE of about 23 times, but we think it's got amazing growth, growth, pro growth profile. And uh, you know, what they're doing is they're taking people online, they're crowdsourcing ideas. I think they're really disrupting uh, online real estate in Japan. Okay, forget about America for disruption. Get out there, go into the wilds of the jungle, go up north and find out what's really happening.